thin ice. Kick out. Carter. Butler last February. Shot clock at five as the jumper falls for Jay Nepps. I like that Jay Nepps is up and over the defender and enough time to get a clean look. And true to Oduro inside. Gets the bucket. And the foul to the line for one more. For the NCAA tournament, this is a critical game for the Friars to win at home as Supreme Cook puts his first two on the board. Well, I'm seeing in advance, and that's not taking anything away from Providence College. But I, I think that played into his decision. A beautiful pass right there against his own. And that's how you want to play against his another, another offensive rebound. Another one for Georgetown. And out it goes to Masood for three. Third opportunity on that trip. And it was Masood who started it all. The fan base. Epps on the run. Oduro with the rebound. His second. Big man will push it up the floor. Duwal finds gains for three. That's where it really impacted the Friars. Air ball saved in play. Floyd will push ahead to Carter for the two-hand flush. Carter back though to the half-court alley -oop. Well, but Georgetown has to be weary of this. Sometimes a turnover can lead to the first pass of a fast break or a long shot. And that time, because of that live ball turnover, tried to save it under the rim. Your defense... Penetration. Oh, that's nice drop off. Carter with a cross. Good things happen when with two fouls. Pierre challenged. Good defense playing with two fouls by Styles. Extra pass in the corner for the open three, and Dontre Styles doing it all and giving Georgetown the advantage. Stop yeah. going. By my man. Carter. Underhands it to Gaines. Get inside. Epps with the blow by. Can't finish. Tip won't go. Rebound loose and plucked by Floyd. Pierre. The lob to Carter. Showtime. The defensive assignments take on a bigger role and try to make the NCAA tournament. Oduro inside will be a big part if they can get there of what pro He to nobody. Carter on the move, one on one against Epps. Feeds Oduro for two more. And a timeout taken by Georgetown. Their half court offense. Here's two out. Shot clock down to four. Gonna have to hurry. It's Barron from deep. Oh, he hits the three from way behind the arc. Fielder. Working against Castro, using the window. He called it. Mm -hmm. Tend to shoot for do out. Oh, yeah. And Epps anticipation it. with the steal to the other end for two. It, you Pretty impressive answer by the Hoyas. A yes. 6-0 run. Huh? There's Oduro back in to try to get oh. things under control, and he'll do it against Fiedler. Epps trying to get past Carter. Carter says no way. Shuts the door on Epps. Georgetown saves the possession. Masood deep three rolls at home. That's the second time in a scramble situation that Masood's hit a three. Yeah, but with the offense, let's see if we can get a shot up this time on this, on this possession. We've played a minute. Will we have a shot? We will. Jaden Pierre. Not only a shot, but a make. Yeah. That lob was open. Dumped down again. Same thing. They drew to Epps. He found Cook. Rebound as well. Trying from deep way off for Epps. Providence by four, looking to push. Pierre in the open floor, all the way to the rim. And a six-point game. There's the son of Stikembe Mutombo. Yeah. Two-time Big East Defensive Player of the Year. Oduro going right to work on Mutombo. And then to finish it off is Ticket Gaines. I mean, that one, he had another one in the opposite corner by their bench. Ooh, what a swap. He guard your main guy all the time. But Carter got beat up play bigger. But what it seems when your hands are down, it's easier to move the ball. And to shoot. And finds Pierre for the flush. The, the hands got to be active. Oduro with 16 to lead the Friars in the corner of the three. Up and down. Largest lead of the afternoon. Providence up 
11. Vincent's approach to Jaden Epps saying, I'm getting to my spot, and I'm going to make a tough shot at speaking of which. <laughs> How about an answer? the corner and answer with the bump. Carter for one more coming up. Well, that's the reason why these two young men are high on the charts in this league and score. Supreme Cook. There's Epps. Using the quick screen to try to get free of Carter. He'll find Masood, and the three falls for Masood. Count the bucket, and then a foul underneath against Providence. The double team that time. Needs some help. Finds in the corner. Gains an open three. Left it short, but Gaines there to get the rebound for the easy two. Fans out of it somewhat. There it is again. And it's plays like that that yes. have taken the crowd out of this game. Yep. Long ball getting right back to Cook. Popping out his heat for an open three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, well, we got a two-point game in Providence. Good then. But you should know with Ed Cooley that the team is going to compete, and right now we got a tied up game, ladies and gentlemen. Rowan Grumball, the top 100 prospect who came in after redshirting at Texas a year ago, would fall off the screen for Cook. Gets it, stops the three, rolls out part of the rebound. Now Carter to work. Driving all the way inside. That's a foul on Masood. And it may be team to shoot. Here's Pierre. Looking baseline. Finds Castro. Now Epps picked up by Castro on the switch. Epps will step back looking for his first three and he hits it. 0 for 9 before that rainbow three makes it a one-point game. Ready to go to work against Heat into the paint. Carter stays with it. All of the rim he needed. And he got the bounce. There's Masood looking for the tie. Got it! We're tied in Providence. And the catch. Make a move or two and get a shot right there. Those are Epps in the corner. Open look and he hits the three. He was 0 for 9 from three. He's hit his last two. And Georgetown leads late in Providence. You know what? Each big with four fouls going after Cook and he floats it home. One more game. Let's see. On the baseline to Cook. Cook in some trouble. Did he get tied up down there? Yes, he did. Possession arrow, Providence. Carter hoists a deep three. Oh, he hits! And the look on Ed Cooley's face when his former player I mean, hey, Ed, you, you to blame. You brought him here. I mean, <laughs> you recruited him, and you knew what he could do and what he was capable of. And a lot of times last year, you were on the receiving end of that shot. And Cooley, we can catch the backside of it. Possession arrow, Georgetown. And a takeaway. Carter with a steal. To the other end, Carter. The little mental errors right here. Just a bad pass. That pass has to be on the outside. He doesn't do it. And then they're looking to at the end one here. And it's Carter. That clear. Carter all the way. Finger roll drops. He's got 27. Six-point game again. And Carter with a steal. The exclamation point. The Friars are going to get their wish. They're going to spoil the return of their former head coach, Ed Kulik. 84-76. Carter with 11 in the final two minutes to close the door on Ed Cooley's return to his home.